Welcome to episode 2 of our road tripping and we'll continue the journey as you can see my folks have all arrived and they're all busy on their phones as usual but uh, the journey is about 2 hours you can see the navigation map here right here it's actually called the Niagara Falls of India and I'm really excited to go there let's continue Tirapalli is just a two-hour drive but we are driving during the afternoon and the sun is at its best. Our heart was craving for some relaxation and a roadside cafe emerged as a saviour for us. You know why this episode is called The Beginning? Because that famous movie Beginning was shot there. No, I'm not talking about any Hollywood blockbuster, I'm talking about that huge blockbuster from India, the Bahubali, the beginning, yes. Now let me refresh your senses. Remember that scene where Prabhas, that hero, was lifting that huge shivling against a massive backdrop? We are going to the same spot. Now I don't know about the shivling, but the backdrop, that waterfall is huge, humongous. We all have felt at one point of time, where in the hell in the world has it been shot? Now that's Atiravali guys, that's the same spot we are going to. And now it's all refreshed in our senses. We know what we're talking about. It's so rejuvenating the whole thought about it. As you can see right now from the outside, the roads are nice, the drive is beautiful. And can't wait to get to the big waterfall and look for the shivling. Adirapalli is full of rubber plantations and driving around this region is one of the heavenly experiences. Certainly, the summer season is not the best time to visit the waterfalls and that's why dry upper river welcomes us. But we managed to catch one of the all-season waterfalls and the view is absolutely mind-blowing. Wow, what a magnificent view, huh? isn't it? Yes, you must come here when you are here. If you're road tripping in Kerala, you have to have this on your list. There's no way you can go without coming here. Now, the second thing that I had to go do was to go to the forest reserve, the Sholepur forest reserve, but that apparently starts at 5 p.m. We don't have much time on our watch. So let's head back to the hotel. Now, this is where I crashed last night, guys. This is actually the waterfall water which comes from the Athirapalli waterfalls. If you see there, right up there is the Athirapalli waterfalls. And you can see, imagine waking up like this every day morning. This is something else. That's why perhaps Kerala is called God's own country because there's so much of nature beauty and there's so much of greenery, there's so much of, so much of nature to explore that you can just keep wondering how beautiful this place can be. Well, today we're headed to Munar and we have plenty of car and plenty of driving to do. The Jeep is wedding outside. We still have not got enough of Athirapalli, you know, we're still exploring it and this is day two and this is the Thumbu Musi Dam. If I have not got the name correct, please don't really pick on that. This is how you spell it. I wish I could connect to Munar from here but still has a four hour drive. Road tripping in Kerala is simply out of the world. There is no way that you can pick up anything. A. Roads are beautiful. B. They are wide. C. People just don't honk here, man. They are so disciplined. The bike guys ride on their own track. The car guys, it's okay. If you want to ask for a pass, they'll give you a pass. There's no sense of animosity and grin faces. They'll smile at you. So that makes driving in Kerala even more fun and uh, if you are here you have to do the road tripping there's no other way you can connect the cities and you will not complain at all I am at the Kornar Elephant Training Center don't get confused with this this is a mini zoo and I'm not a zoo kind of a person absolutely not but the idea of giving elephant baby elephant bath meeting them has always been exciting since the Hathi Mere Sathi days, you know. So let's see what we can do with the elephants who are waiting right there. 
Elephants are considered auspicious animals in Kerala. Being a part of the culture, no major festival or celebration in Kerala is complete without an elephant parade. They are loved, adored and groomed with the utmost care and respect. We met a local guy during a visit to the elephant sanctuary and he told us about an Ayurveda garden which is close to the sanctuary. We drive in there, breathe some pure air which is really necessary during these dark days. The plan was to show you Muna today but we are still on the way you know with people with folks there's so much of breaks and so much of beauty around you have to take your time and as they say destination is not important journey is and before the lights go off before my cameraman says you cannot talk anymore i'll have to say goodbye right now and right now you might subscribe to the channel because tomorrow i'll be showing you more of munar and munar is famous for his tea so i can't wait to have the morning tea in a beautiful resort in munar please subscribe to us and stay tuned for more